Hi, this is Jerry from Mystic Precision. Thank you for purchasing my M-Pod. Uh, today we're going to show you how to assemble it. Uh, as you can see in front of you, it's the parts that should be coming out of that bag. Uh, included in every kit should be the two front plates and rear plates, two inner legs, two outer legs, two skis, uh, lug, T-slot lug, eight 1024 countersunk bolts, four 832 countersunk bolts, central lever for attaching it to your or tightening it to your rifle, two leg uh, tightening knobs, four inner leg inserts, and a couple of washers. Um, what I want to do is also to highlight a couple of points. Now in the original um, machining, a couple of the bolt holes were done differently. So as you can see on the bottom of your legs, there's actually a couple of bolts put in. Now these have a different thread than the inserts. In future models, that will be changed. Uh, but for right now, uh, I did this to make sure that you didn't put the wrong bolt in the hole and, uh, and strip it. Uh, also, another quirk of the uh, use of the, uh, the type of tubing we're using, the spacing in these tubes can vary a little bit. Uh, and when we machine these uh, inner spacers, um, some of them can be a tight fit. So if you find that you need to push Harder than just that, uh, you might want to put a little bit of sandpaper over the top and they will go in. All right. In the first step, we're going to mount the central lug to the front and rear plates. Um, I'm going to be using the term front and back. The front refers to the counter sink side. The back will be the flush side. So, very simply, using a 332nd Allen wrench, which is again a common, common part, and bolt. Screw the bolt into the mounting lug. Now we assemble the other side using the other two 832 bolts. Now you don't need to put these in tightly yet because you still need to slide the, um, the outer legs between these two plates. Step two, and uh, likely the most tricky part of the whole assembly, is putting the inner sleeves into the outer legs. Uh, we've tried to keep tolerances very tight in the unit, but unfortunately the variations in the wall thickness uh, of the extruded uh, tubing we're using can cause uh, some parts to be uh, overly tight fit. In general, they're going to slide in like that. And uh, here's a little tip, uh, use the back of the leg, just uh, ease it along. centered in the hole. Sometimes they're a very tight fit and they simply don't want to go in. Solution, take a little bit of sandpaper on a flat surface in a circular motion, slightly sand top. Until it slides in. It should be a snug fit but it doesn't need to be Now that you've got the inserts in the outer legs, um, you're going to bolt it into the, uh, the front and rear pieces that we had assembled before. Um, as you can see, the bolts will just go in to the inner sleeves. So you just want to spread these a little bit, slide that outer leg in, and line it up. Now, in, if you're, um, you, you find that the inner sleeves have moved out of alignment, use a smaller Allen key and just position the sleeve so it's centered, and you can put the bolt in, and it down. All right, a couple more steps left and we're almost finished. Um, remove the 1032 bolt from the leg. As I said before, um, there was a, uh, differences in machining, so these bolts do not agree with these ones. Uh, in future uh, products, all the bolts will have the same uh, thread pattern. The ski. The countersink side is now the bottom. Put it, if you put it this way, the notch is on the outside and this ski is going to move around. Position it so that the notch is against the notch in the leg. Insert the bolt. Move it in. And your leg is 
assembled. Now we just need to put the ski into the outer leg shell. Tighten knob. Right in there. The central lever has a spacer. Slide that on there. Stick that in the hole in the middle. Take the T slot lug and put it into the slot. Now you're probably wondering what those two little washers are inside that bag. Um, when we got our new hardware, uh, there was a change in the way the uh, threaded piece was put into the plastic uh, knob, and that caused um, this part here to bite into the slot of the leg. And if you don't have this washer, it's going to ding up the leg. So the simple solution we have is to put a washer on it, and that stops that problem completely. Now you'll also notice that the thread on this knob is very, very long. Um, if you find you don't want to be threading all the way in, you can always just cut off the uh, thread about halfway, and that makes installation uh, a, lot, a lot faster. One thing I did with these washers is I put a little bit of crazy glue on the bottom of them so they don't fall off the knob.